first grade, it's Mrs. Bedard here, and before we start, I just want to say how much I miss you, and I hope that you're having fun with your families and doing fun things with them and staying safe and healthy. So today, we're going to read a story, but like we always do, we're going to think about some things while we're reading the story. Remember in school we talked about story elements? Well, we're going to think about that as I'm reading you the story, The Rainbow Fish. But before we start, I want to talk about what story elements are. So story elements are characters, settings, problems, and solutions. We've talked about this a bunch at school, so this should all sound pretty familiar. Um, the characters, remember, are the people or the animals in the story. So in this make-believe story, it's Ben and Max. Those are our characters. And then the setting is where and when the story takes place. So it's not just outside. It's maybe at a house or a park or it could be at a beach or um, a playground maybe. But also when the story takes place. So is it daytime or is it nighttime? That all makes the setting of the story. The next story element is the problem. The problem is what goes wrong in the story or what the challenge that the character faces is. So in this story, the problem is that Max is missing. Remember, Max is the dog. Max is one of the characters. So the problem in this story is that Max is missing. Hmm. I wonder then what solution means. That's our next story element. The solution is how the problem is fixed or solved. So how did the character solve the problem? How did Ben solve the problem of his dog Max going missing? In this story, it looks like they put out a sign that said lost dog because maybe they wanted people to see that the dog was lost and if they knew that the dog was lost, they could help to find Max. So those are the story elements that we're going to think about as I'm reading you The Rainbow Fish. This is one of my favorite stories. I love this story. So be thinking about the characters, the setting, the problem, and the solution of this story as I'm reading to you. Okay. The title of this story is The Rainbow Fish. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, with silver scales among them. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. Hmm, I wonder how the other fish feel about that. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow Fish, he called. Wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful, and you have so many. Hmm. Wonder what Rainbow Fish will do. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the Rainbow Fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset. He told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. Hmm. What good were the dazzling shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day, he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, 
you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. Wise means very smart. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly two eyes caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. So right now the rainbow fish is not very happy, right? He has all these beautiful scales, but he has no friends. He's very lonely. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales? My beautiful shining scales? Never. How could I ever be happy without them? Hmm. I wonder if the scales make him happy? Hmm. Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very, very small shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I won't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much, the little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. So he gave the little fish one of his shiny scales and it made the little fish feel very happy. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right and the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. So he learned that sharing his scales makes other people happy. And when the other fish are happy, it makes him happy too, because now he's not lonely. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. That's the end. So that book has some characters, right? Maybe no people, but there are some animals. The setting is in the ocean, right? And I want you to think about with your families what the problem in the story was and what the solution of the story was. I think that the problem is that the rainbow fish was very lonely because he didn't want to give away his scales, right? He thought that the scales made him beautiful and made him happy. But then the solution, remember how the problem is fixed, is that the rainbow fish went to see the octopus and the octopus said, you could give away some of your scales so that you can be happy to see other fish happy. So I want you to talk about that with your families and you can do this with any book that you have in your house. It doesn't have to be just the rainbow fish. You can do this with books, you can do this with movies. So that's what I want you guys to do with your families this week, okay? I miss you all, and I hope I get to see you soon. Bye.